course, I don't do a lot of 410A stuff um, on air conditioning. And I'm wondering if the high pressures on the 410 is what's been messing up the... Seems like the high side probe on some guys' stuff's been leaking. My stuff's working fine. I got the Android out. I'm filming with the iPhone today. So this walk-in setup on 407C. Box is warm. Got a 24 degree evaporator. 92 condensing. We're almost at 9 degrees of subcooling and 37 superheat at the compressor. Which I can live with all those. I'd like to see that evaporator temperature come down, but I know that box is 50 degrees. Um, coil was plugged up to the max, had to wash it out. Someone had stepped on the doghouse, and the discharge line was bent over, and I got lucky and was able to bend it back. See that there? Still good. Um, the suction line was also bent over. It's a little tweak. Look at that hackery, hackery, dude. That was inside the box and see what the temp is. See how our sight glass is looking. A couple little bubbles in there. I'm going to see if the TXB settles down. It's pretty clear now. Not bad. Let's go check the, uh, the box. These guys have been leaving the door open and it's driving me nuts. Let's go take a look. I'll bring you along for the drive. Door's closed. Oh yeah, she's cooling down now. Where are we at now? Yeah, 49ers. And dropping, so get out there and we'll run a couple more checks on it. Okay. So I got the smart probes going on the Android. I know last month it was Smart Probe Armageddon. Um, and what I had done back then was delete the app on all my devices and then reinstall it. And I haven't had a problem since. I know some guys have had some leaks on their probes. And I don't do a lot of air conditioning, so I never put the high side on 410A. I haven't yet. I think the mini splits I work on, all I get is the low side connection. Um, and I don't know if that has a, an effect on those or not. I haven't taken the batteries out of these since I've had them either. And then it doesn't get as hot here as where a lot of you guys are where these things are sitting in the truck or the van. Just mega cooking. So, mine are still working good. I'm not going to give up on them. I mean, I got my, I got one of the probes for $44. <laughs> so, still working for me. We'll see. Um, they probably do need some re-engineering if they're leaking out there, so we'll see. I'd like to see someone take one apart and dissect one so we can see what's inside of there. That'd be kind of cool, too. Android device today, my cheap little tablet. It's a Nexus 7. Seems to be working pretty good. I do notice on this old beater tablet, you will see a delay and then it catches up on the low side. keep them in any protective gear. You can see they're getting good and filthy. They live in my veto bag on the flip side, just in the little pockets. I throw them in there and that's where they live. And uh, we'll, we'll keep an eye on them. I'll try and use them as much as I can, see how they last. So far I can't complain. 
it's a bummer for the guys that have had issues, but I hopefully they've been taken care of under warranty. I think it's been a two-year warranty on these things. Let's pump her down and see what she does. I'm suspicious to see if this valve even seats it. It's been having issues. That's going to stop pretty good right there. Here on the Android, that's where you're hearing the delay. Hear the compressor, you can hear the compressor pumping down. showing 27.2 up there that's no bueno <clears throat> if you're trying to check stuff with your smart probes let me um i'm going to put it on the apple device and i'll get the uh we'll get the gopro out and film it let's see if it makes a difference okay is that thing flashing all right so now i got it on the uh the iphone uh let's go ahead and crack it open and pump it back down and see if it's if it's any better Definitely with that old device. It looked glitchy. Yeah, see? With this device, it looks like a regular gauge. See that? Let's go ahead and pump her down now. I gotta close the valve off. Let's see how she does here. Sometimes it does not want to see. Let me tell you. All right, there it goes. Now that's what you want it to look like when it's pumping down so you can check it. I hope that's coming over on the GoPro. See if there's any updates on that Android device. This is an iPhone 6S Plus. See where it cuts out at. I got a feeling that low pressure control is going to need adjusting. Watch it climb up and then it should kick on and then pump down and then hold. Let's see.
that's looking like a regular old gauge right there so <clears throat> to me that's not any fault of testos that's just a really old device i'm trying to run the smart probes on and it does make a difference as you can see on uh, on this iphone it's working fine just like it should What you're watching there is I can't get this valve to seat all the way on the receiver so it leaks by. Let's go ahead and crack it open. But there it goes feeding. settle down here all right so that's my update on the smart probes they're doing good I'll check the uh, Android device to see if there's an update on the app <coughs> or the system but it really does make a difference in how old of a device we're using with our Bluetooth instruments. Now, the reason I put it on that Nexus is because I just had that device. So I figured, what the heck, I'd give it a try and use it. This is a newer phone. It's working flawlessly. No issues whatsoever. So I don't know if that Nexus is too old. Maybe I should look into that, but... That's my update on the smart probes. They seem to be doing just fine after smart probe Armageddon last month. And uh, I'm going to keep using these things and we'll try and use them as much as I can out of the summer. They, they just live in my veto bag. I don't protect them. I just throw them in there. I don't take the batteries out. You can see they're getting good and dirty. And they just live in my tool bag. And I'll try and use the crap out of them all summer and see how they hold up. Alright, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe. Add some feedback on the comments. If you got some feedback on these, I'd love to hear the stories. Especially you guys that had them uh, malfunction on you. And uh, see how these things uh, pan out over time. Great concept of a tool though. Can't deny that. Alright, have a great day.